let's uh, uh, go ahead and walk around the compound, okay? <laughs> All right. Oh, she looked away. Fire. 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 Mimi. <gasps> oh, man, it didn't even. Okay. <laughs> Wait. No. Nope. She I thought that maybe for a second she was she had resumed the blep. But alas, she did not. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. Little caterpillar. Little caterpillar. Look at her. She's a little caterpillar. Oh, man. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It's me, Derek. Again, welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk on the Compound webcast. Sorry, I have to pick the, I have to pick up the pace because this guy right here, this guy right here, he's being very squishy. He's being very, very squishy. Very, very cute. I could not resist the urge. Yes, yes, to come up and to talk to him and just to say like, oh my, a goodness. I know. My goodness. My. Look at him. Oh my gosh. The volley. Got all this. He's got all that hair. But he's in again. He's in this like shedding mode. So he's just like got just scraggly like half winter hair, half summer hair, and it's just ugh. But he's oh so cute. You are just too much. Fall, 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 fall. My gosh, how lucky are we? Well, might as well just go. Might as well just get the rest of them. I'm going this way. Might as well just do that. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. I don't know if my camera was schmutzed or what. Don't, don't feel camera was schmutzed. Sometimes it gets schmutzed. You know that. Okay. And how about that? That's pretty good. Oh my gosh. Look. Just. Ah. Uh, Nay doll. Mountain A doll. He loves that rock. He lays up there a lot. Oh. I'm a fan. I have three settings. <laughs> I oscillate. Hi, bud. Hey, bud. Ah, uh, yes. Those. So, mm. Hold on. I'm trying to get a video of the ants. It's way more interesting. Those are red ants. The red ants. They're not fire ants. They have that. They don't mound. They just go straight, like into the ground, like that. They're a lot more docile and friendly. <laughs> Meaning, I mean, not, I shouldn't say friendly, but they're, they're a lot less aggressive. But, uh, I mean, yeah, they're red, so people are like, oh, those are fire ants. But no, if they bite you, they hurt. It hurts more than a fire ant bite, but generally speaking, they just don't bite. Fire ants, I mean, you just look at those things wrong. They're like, what'd you say? What'd you say? You know who you're talking to? Oh my gosh. Hmm. 
Look. You don't you don't have to. You don't have to try to you know, chomp on my face. You don't have to. You can resist this. These are things that are within your control. You just need to have a little bit more discipline in your life. Or maybe just like change some just some very key elements of your perception and then a lot of times the other parts will just kind of fall into place that might help a lot oh my gosh it's going to take a long time we're going to need to work on this a lot we're going to need to work on this a lot hey hey munchy 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 let's calm down let's calm down let's have calm down let's have let's have calm down thoughts nope let's have calm down thoughts we need to have calm down thoughts. Yeah. Calm down thoughts. Yeah. He does. He just... He wants to... He wants to play with my face. He wants to detach it from my body. Stretch it. Hold it up and just kind of just like make the mouth... Blah, blah, blah. And then they, all the tigers would have a good old laugh. A good, solid laugh. <laughs> that is what he sounds like. They just do impressions of me. He's holding up my face. Okay. We're just coming back. Just because you are so sweet and so cute. But I can't linger. I can't. What was that? Is that Natalie Imbruglia? Is that the song? Do you have to let it linger? Do you have to? Do you have to? Do you have to let it linger? I think that that's pretty close to how it sounded. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Pretty, 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 pretty sure. Hmm. Oh. Princess is over here. Let's get a good look at her. From this angle. Hi, princess, princess, come here. Oh, oh, stretch, stretchy baby, stretchy baby. Oh, my Atlantic. Oh. Garbanzo beans. Oh my gosh. Well, I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much. I wonder. Let's see. If I do. Wait a minute. No. <laughs> I was even thinking about like, people like, ah, everything just went upside down. Yeah. Nope. 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 Can't do that. Can't do that. No. Yeah. Not that. I want to be able to. Mm. Maybe under something here. Mm. Hold on. I was trying to do something and it didn't quite pan out. But, oh well. Princess! <laughs> <laughs> she's done with us people at home are like mm, I wouldn't say that she's done with us specifically Derek she's done with you 
That's that's who she's done with. Well, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Baking powder. Oh, Boomer's sharpening some peats. Boomer is sharpening peats. Just, this is not a drill. This is not a drill. This is a screwdriver. Hey -o. <laughs> ah, yes. Boom. Hmm. I wonder. Oh my gosh. I mean, okay. Nope. We've got boom up top. We've got fire in a pot. We've got a fire in a flower pot. I mean, look. Priorities, man. You know? She's a good girl. She is very cute and slash or sweet. Mm hmm. Now. You know, it's crazy. Um, because, uh, Got, got a few different people kind of visiting at the same time. We got Melissa, and I was talking about that in the last webcast. But then we got one of our old friends. Um, her name is Mindy, and she was actually the one that originally introduced me to uh, Care. Was the one that brought me out, and she's actually here visiting. She doesn't have. She maybe can get here like once a year at this point, which is great. It's great. So she can come, she visits for, for a few days, kind of uh, four or five days, you know, once a year. And it's really, because she used to be, you know, a significant part of care and of Heidi's life and kids and stuff like that. And, um, I only talk about her because, uh, you know, Archie's up over there. Kind of Archie's, uh, Archie's kind of her boy. And there was a period of time where she was away for for quite a bit of time. And it's just the career aspect, like career different things and, uh, you know, just having family and kids and just you have to align your priorities in a certain kind of manner. And, uh, you know, and that's okay. So she had to kind of, she took a bit of a a hiatus for for a couple of years and then she came back and then now she's actually been coming back with like more kind of regularity and frequency because things are just a little bit I mean kids are a little bit older and careers a little bit more kind of stale so yeah it's like the pieces have kind of fallen in place to be able to do such things anyway um I was talking to her yesterday because she was, she was sitting by Archie. Was it yesterday or was it the day before? I'm not sure. Might have been the day before? Hi. Hi. Choo choo. Choo choo. Hi choo choo. Ezzy. <sighs> you. Easy choo choo. Easy choo choo. Who's the choo, who's the chewiest of chews? Who's the chewiest of chews? Oh my gosh, you're so chewy. You're so chewy. You're so chewy. You're so chewy. I was talking to Melissa. Not Melissa. Mindy. Jeez. Um, I was talking to Mindy. And, and she was hanging out with Archie. And um, we were kind of, we were, we kind of went through the inventory. We went through the list of all of the cats that um, are still like, like the cats that still remain.
from the the older era, so to speak. Slate, Mr. Potato Head, Potato, Potatoes, Potatoes. Oh jeez, ah oh, jeez. Sorry, ah, it's gonna get flagged. Oh, your video is gonna get demonetized now. Oh, good job, good job. Yep, tiki balls will do it. Jeez, look at your, it's not, uh, as he's not a chunk, but it's like his gut is just kind of like splayed out just by the way that he's like laying. And it just looks like he's just this big rotund, just, <laughs> oh, just a pile of tiger. <laughs> just a sloppy tiger pile. Oh man. Ezzy, choo choo. Well, we were kind of going through and we were taking inventory of all the cats that were part of like the old era and then the cats that are relatively new. And, I, and one thing also you have to sit there and think of is that, I mean, for me, for it's like, yeah, sure, you remember the cats that, you know, were f here from before. Because when I first started working here, you have to, un like, they, there were so many different cats. There were so many. And, like, the facility was just fundamentally different. Just fundamentally different. Um, okay, who was it that was here? There was Allie Archie. There was Fire Melita. Uh, let's see, anyone down from here? Nope. There was the four babies. Milo, Raven, Cassie, Solano. I'm trying to think. One more kind. Let's one. Oh, and uh, Sydney Rasta. Okay, so again. So cats that were still here. Quote from the old era. So I'm looking around. I got Allie Archie. I got Fire Melita. Cassie Milo Raven. Four babies. Sydney Raza. Solano. Every single other cat is, quote, new. And when I say new, it's like cats that either, maybe she, like, because I think that she did, she came back like one time, either a year, year and a half ago, something like that. And of course, a lot of the cats are new, but there's still some of the old cats still left around, but we've had a few that have passed since then. And then I think it was even before we had that latest kind of uh, rehoming where we got like Princess and Manchi and everything. So it, like that was the, like, it was before that. So even now, like this last time, so this this new kind of thing. And Back in the day, she she had the ability, um, primarily just because ge geographic kind of circumstances per permitted it, she was able to be here and come to the facility at like regular, uh, like regularly spaced intervals. So then that means that she was able to like really kind of build up a sense of closeness and connection with those animals specifically like she was with them she work. she had to work with them regularly and it's not to sit there and say that she doesn't like you know come and like see and meet some of the newer ones and then says like oh my gosh like this is such a cute animal like she she's didn't know ezra but she's just like ezra is awesome and i love ezra i love him but you have to understand it's like ezra's technically it's like ezra wasn't like one of her wasn't one of her cats you know what i mean yeah, and that's got to be kind of sad. It's just that's weird. It's a that's a tough kind of thing, huh, Mister? Huh, Mister? Wow. And then it's like you leave, and then the next time you come back, like a few more of the cats that you remember are gone, and then you leave, and then you come back, and then a few more of the cats that you remember are gone. Whereas at least me, and I, I get the, I get the ability to just kind of still like see the progression of the facility in that, you know, in that quote real time.
I guess. Even though like mine is, uh, my experience has been has become a little bit more uh, staccatoed. Is that maybe a, a right word to use? My experience here at Care has become more staccatoed. Hmm. Hi, handsome. Hi, Mr. Man. Oh, good boy. Yeah. I think that, yeah. It's like over half of all the animals that are currently here at the facility are, are from that new generation, so to speak. The new generation of animals. That's got to be difficult. Especially when, like, you know, you go, it just... I don't know. Oh my gosh. Look at how handsome he is. Look how handsome and sleepy and just beautiful he is. And it was kind of funny, though, when she was talking to me and we were kind of going around because there was another cat that she was very fond of, and his name was Tigger. And Tigger used to live with Lydia. Do any of you even, like, was Lydia still around when I started filming? I, I don't even remember. I don't even know. I really don't. I don't. Lydia was a good girl. She was very cool. Very cool girl. Um, Tigger was a good boy. Tigger was a good boy. But, uh, she was saying like, oh, like I remember this cat and this cat. I remember Tigger. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't even thought about Tigger. And like, I probably haven't thought about him in months, even though I worked with him. Like all the time. He was one of, it was just, he was one of the cats here at Care. He was one of my, my first kind of favorites. Like when I, when I first started uh, contemplating of, over which cat I would adopt, because that's when Heidi first started the adoption program, it was between Tigger and Savannah. That was the that was the choices that I was kind of thinking about. I was contemplating. I eventually chose Savannah. I eventually chose Savannah, and even though it's just kind of like it was weird because I eventually, I mean, like I love Savannah, but I en I, I ended up naturally kind of gravitating and becoming closer to some of the other cats um over the years that i worked here it's just it's just how those things kind of work out but minnie was telling me she's like yeah tigger and i'm like oh my gosh i haven't even thought about tigger and oh and the guy said that i'm like oh i haven't oh, it's been so long since i've even thought about it. and then she thought that maybe what i was meaning was like oh like it's a difficult memory and then and then she's like, oh, I'm sorry. And I'm like, no, 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 no. It's, that's, but that's what it's like. That's what it's like. You just, the, the time marches on so much. It just, it just keeps on plugging away, whether you want it to or not. It doesn't care. It doesn't take your opinion into, into the matter. Time is going to do what it does. And you're going to know. And I was telling Mindy this. It's like, look, you have to realize there have been cats in that in there was in the window of time that you kind of had to you know that you were off and, and working and raising kids and stuff like that in the window of time that 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 you were away the years that 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 kind of took place there were cats that were brought into the facility lived here for years and then died and you never knew any, you, know, you never even knew them. It's like, yes, you can see things on the website, you knew of their existence, but you never knew those ones. It's like, it's crazy to think about it. 
and I was, uh, and I'm not trying to sit there. I wasn't trying to like crap. I was just saying like, but the amount of like things that have happened, and you just have to keep on going. And it's like there's no time, oftentimes, to, I guess, really, I guess, take that sort of kind of inventory, so to speak. I can't, I can't, because this is basically as like high as I can go. The problem is just like, ugh, ugh. But just kind of like calling into light or bringing into light like this notion of just like, yeah, the, the amount of time that has passed and the amount of animals that just have cycled through this facility and will continue to cycle through this facility. It's just part of that just continuous story. And whereas, you know, like her experience had to be kind of in a way kind of frozen and then thawed. And then it's like, yeah, but what about this and this and then and then. You know, you're thinking just like, that's, man, I haven't even thought of that in a long time. Because there's been so many different things that have happened between then and now. You know, for her, it can still be a very kind of like emotionally resonant and raw kind of thing. But for us, it's like, you know, there's so many other things that we've had to then experience and then like, you know, have closure over and move on. It's just illuminating like the differences of perception and uh, yeah here's this pretty girl there's this pretty girl I'm very happy that I got her the ability to see her well and prominently displayed not too far away from the camera that's a good thing not gonna lie we're a little bit worried about Sydney a little bit worried about Sydney. Just she acts a little bit different. She acts a little bit just kind of just slower and not not as bright. I mean, she gets up and she eats and she drinks and stuff like that, and she still kind of gets along. She does her thing, but I mean, she's 16, so. You know, maybe it's just her just getting a little bit older, getting a little bit more creaky, and just being like, nah, I just kind of want to take things a little bit slower, and it might be something else, you never know. But just wanted to be able to kind of let you know. And I will say that uh, from the time I started filming, not this cast, but the cast before that, so I was down here uh, maybe about like an hour or so ago, she was... She was over underneath that platform. It's like, so she, yeah, like I said, she gets up and she, she does stuff. But it's like, um, it's like her window's a little foggy, you know? That's it. Window's a little foggy. Good girl. Good girl regardless. Another one to add to the Rolodex. The ones that come, the ones that go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm going to show you something. You're probably going to think it's like the most tragic thing. And be like, you know, Derek, you're sitting there kind of talking and waxing about some of the cats that have come and gone and the passage of time and everything. And that's very sad. But what I'm about to show you is just horrifyingly tragic. Horrifyingly tragic. 
flowers. The flowers are gone. <sighs> They're gone. My frolicking flowers. <sighs> um, Heidi didn't do that. Heidi actually wanted them there. <sighs> that was Calvin. Calvin wanted, he was just helping out. And he buzzed them. <laughs> He was helping out doing some mowing. <laughs> Just <laughs> Oh no. Oh Heidi was like ah. <laughs> Oh no. Oh uh, Yeah, but I, I just hey. He's just cleaning up the pasture. That's just it. Oh. Oh No more frolicking. <laughs> I was hoping to, you know, there's still some flowers on the other side of the fence. I may have to just like go and frolic over there. I don't feel like frolicking right now, but you know, when I'm in a frolicking mood, we'll see. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus Award in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all your big cat goodness. And yeah, we'll see you later. All right. Talk to you later. How many times am I going to say later? Later, yo. Bye.